Hello friends, calculation of YTM that is yield to maturity. It is a lengthy process, but in Microsoft Excel, the calculation can be made within 5 to 10 seconds. Let us see how it can be. Here we have an example, 8% 10 years rupees 1000 bond issued by United Bank is selling at rupees 950. Calculate its YTM. Friends, the investor in this case will be spending rupees 950 today. And for 9 years, he will be getting rupees 80 as coupon amount. So 8% of 1000 is rupees 80. And in 10th year, he will receive not only the coupon amount 80, but the face value also. And we have to calculate YTM of this bond. So let us start with calculation. We go to insert, choose function. In the functions, we choose IRR, internal rate of return, because IRR and YTM are basically the same concept. And here we open the dialog box. And after opening the dialog box, we place the values. So here we have the value starting from purchase price till last coupon payment. And it has already calculated 8.77% that is YTM. So we can place it here 8.77%. This is calculated. Now let us go to another example. Eight percent nine year, one thousand bond issued by SBI is selling at rupees one zero five zero in the market. Calculate YTM. Friend, whosoever wants to purchase, he has to purchase it for rupees one zero five zero. For eight years, the investor will be getting eighty rupees per annum. So eight percent of one thousand. This is the coupon amount. In ninth year. In addition to coupon amount, he will be receiving the face value. Hence, total amount he will be receiving 1080. Now, let us calculate the YTM. Again, we go to insert function. Here, we click IRR. We open the dialog box. We place the value and here it is calculated 7.223%. So that is the calculation. 7.23%. It has been calculated. Let us cover one more exercise. 10% 4 year rupees 1000 bond with semi annual payment. Issued by PNB is selling at rupees 900 in the market. Calculate its YTM. Friend, investor has to spend rupees 900 to purchase this. Then he will be getting half yearly coupon of rupees 50 for seven years, for seven half years. So 10% of 1100 rupees because payment is semi annual, half yearly, hence 50 rupees will be the coupon amount. In 8th year, along with coupon amount, the face value shall be received. This is the cash flow. Now we can proceed with calculation. We go to insert. We select function. Here we select IRR. And now we shall place the values. So starting from purchase price, we place the values. So we get 6.65%. So let us place it 6.65%. Now, because this is based on annual coupon, hence the annual YTM in this case would be 13.30%. In this way, the calculation of YTM in MS Excel is very easy. So whenever there is opportunity for you to do practice, to check your answers, you can always make use of 
Microsoft Excel for calculation of YTM. Microsoft Excel can be used not only for calculating YTM, it can be used for calculating amount of sinking fund, amount of EMI, present value and future value of NOT and NOT amount for a given future value and present value. So you can always explore these functions. Well friends, I am sure the contents of this video will benefit you and thank you for watching the video. In case you liked the contents of the video, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.